right, we are here with Miami hockey head coach Chris Bergeron. As always, type Q in the chat if you have questions, and I'll call on you whenever we're ready. Jordan, go ahead and start us off. Bergeron, I'm going to start with the obvious with you. Talk about Ludwig's play tonight. Uh, pretty good. Uh, obviously, he's uh, he's a calming presence for our group. He's, I think he makes hard saves look easy. But if anybody watches this boy's mode of operation, you wouldn't be surprised. He... He's a, he's a professional. He brings it every day. Uh, he, he, I think he's a, a smart hockey player. Even, you know, it's not a lot, not always said about goaltenders, but it's, it's probably unfair, but this boy is a smart player. He, he knows what's going on. But I think the overall thing that comes to my mind is, is just, he, he brings a presence to our group and, and a confidence. And uh, that's not always the case when you're, uh, you know, three games or four games in your college career. So really happy for him. He deserves it, and he, I think he's played very well. Uh, Brad, go ahead. Chris, cr clearly you guys thought he was going to be pretty good uh, with, with the way Cross played really well in your first game, but you still came back with Ludwig in game two in the pod. What, what made you guys think he was going to be ready for uh, college hockey in the NCHC? Just, again, I, I would say his, his presence and his – um, his work ethic, like we, we did get good reviews out of Lone Star last year, but you know, that's still, who knows, right? You know, I think goaltenders come from every league and you just never know. Um, we want to have two goalies that can play. We, we, we know Cross played a good game against North Dakota game one, but, but wasn't able to get the win. Um, we just we, we came in here with a plan that we were going to rotate the goaltenders until somebody separated themselves and and uh and we stuck to that plan now now we have a decision to make because i mean he's got back-to-back -back shutouts so obviously that's pretty that's a pretty strong case to play again saturday but the, the confidence was just in the boy in his work ethic and just like any college coach gives a freshman an opportunity that's what we gave this kid and he's he's run with it so far and that's not just in games as you know, I mean, we had, what, three months of a training camp or, or whatever, two months of a training camp, and he, he was outstanding most of the time. So it, that gave us the confidence. What he's done to this point gave us the confidence to, to just put him in there. Uh, Jordan? Quick follow-up to that. First off, how impressive is that to have that confidence, being a freshman so young? But also, can you talk about the play of Lowndes line tonight? I know we had yeah. the shot box in that PK unit there. Yeah. Thank you for bringing that up. First of all, I'm not sure him and Hampus even understand who we're playing against. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think they know that this is Denver and that's North Dakota. And they look at the opposing team as somebody in a different jersey. And why wouldn't we beat them? So I think he just has that presence about him and, and the way Ridquist plays on the back end, he's fearless back there. Now there's mistakes, but, but they just, they go and play. And that's hard for a freshman. It's, oh, man, we're playing Denver. We're playing North Dakota, which obviously is a program in transition. We're going to have to get beyond that. But that's where I think he just – that's where it comes from. Um, the play of, the, of that line, you know, again, I, I'm really glad you brought that up. I include Casey Gilling in that. But but Lown and Nyes are, are proud young people. Uh, Mahalik and Russell haven't played a bunch, and they played tonight and played well. Uh, but I'm really proud of that, the, the senior group. Uh, and and I, I think Lown and Nyes led the way um, to be involved as much as they were. The shot blocks, as you say, um, that's the type of leadership we're looking for because it's infectious. It's, it's things that people see. There was a, a win face off with the empty net that, that Phil had a second and third effort to get it out, which led to the empty net goal. Just really proud of that senior group. Um, in, in a time where we could go the other way, right? We're at one and six, we didn't have a good effort the other night, at least in the third period. Um, but they, they've stuck with it. And I, uh, I'm proud of them for that. I'm proud of that senior group for that. Uh, Brad, go ahead. Chris, so why eight defensemen? That's not typical. No. Um, we were banged up up front uh, with three, three regulars out. Um, and... I felt like the eight, those eight guys deserved to play over the one forward that we didn't play. I mean, I, I'm a firm believer in, in rewarding people for their efforts and, and playing who should play, not what the rules say. You Because, as you know, they say we can dress 19, whether that's, you know, 12 and 7 or 11 and 8. And um, it might be 
you can ask Coach Rude this, who's running the D. It might be a little bit easier just to roll four groups of two rather than fit in the seventh guy. Um, because I am about opportunity, and we do have 10 defensemen. And so to dress uh, to dress the eight tonight with Crowder being banged up, he's got an upper body injury. I thought all eight of those guys played well. But the reason was because they deserved to play. Uh, Jordan, go ahead. Chris, does this kind of further prove that anything can happen on any night in this league? And then also, what do you want to see the rest of the pod? Uh, I, I, I think it further proves that, yes. And, and not only in this league, but in college athletics. These are young kids, man. I, I know they're, they're, they're young men, but they're still, they're still young people. And, and, and who knows sometimes, especially in this, in this setting. Uh, what I'd like to see in the pod is us to build off of tonight. We, we, we set the bar again for ourselves in terms of defending and competing. And, and we found a way to score enough. So I want us to build off of that. Um, I, I don't want us to go backwards. I don't want us to take our foot off the gas. I want us to build off of that. We're going to rest tomorrow and we'll go back to work on Saturday uh, to try to, to get the, 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 the series split against Colorado College on Saturday night. But it, the focus will be to build off of tonight's game and the level we defended and the, and, and the managing of the puck, <clears throat> excuse me, and our level of compete, <clears throat> excuse me, which we have to have for us to have a chance. All right, we are here with sorry, we are here with Phil Nyes. Um, as usual, type Q in the chat whenever you have a question, and I'll call on you. Um, Jordan, go ahead and start us off. Yeah, Phil, can you talk about Ludwig's play tonight? Uh, Phil, can you hear us? I cannot hear. No, oh, shoot. I was not. Um, Jordan, I don't. We can hear you, Allie. We can't hear Jordan. Oh, okay, uh, Jordan, you, you might have issues. What? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yep. there it is. Good now. Mm -hmm. Phil, can you talk about Ludwig's play tonight? I thought it was outstanding. Um, obviously, his back-to-back -back shutouts for him. Um, he's he stood on his head for us. So I think he's been great. A uh, big piece for us back there, for sure. How did it feel to finally get points this season on uh, your score sheet, I guess? Felt good. Um, you know, obviously the bounce is kind of, we're, we're fortunate tonight. Um, you know, felt that uh, the guys that I was playing with, you know, we kind of earned those over the last few games uh, and didn't kind of go our way, but um, obviously feels good that uh, those bounces kind of went our way tonight. Uh, Brad, go ahead. Things haven't really gotten your guys way early in the season. How do you guys, how did you guys make sure that didn't snowball in the wrong direction that you were able to come back today with a, a strong performance? I think we just rallied around our competitiveness. Um, you know, I mentioned in the intermission report too, that was something that we harped on over the last three games. We just felt that, you know, our effort levels weren't where we wanted them. Um, and I think we raised the bar. I think we raised the level of competition that, um, you know, we want to compete at. And I think that showed on the score sheet. So, um, you know, hopefully we, we continuously, you know, put those efforts forward. And, you know, I think if we compete that hard, you know, we can, we can compete with everyone in this conference.